Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In this tutorial we'll learn how to create a mechanical rigging animation in Blender. Let's get started. First, add a cylinder and scale it down along the ZE axis. Press Ctrl A and apply the scale transform. Next, add a cube and resize it. Apply the scale transform as well. Switch to edit mode and select the edges. Press Ctrl B to bevel them. Scroll up the mouse wheel to add more segments for a smoother bevel. Now go to the modifiers tab and add a mirror modifier. Change the mirror axis to Y and set the cylinder as the mirror object. Apply the mirror modifier. Finally, hold shift and select the cylinder, then press Ctrl J to join the objects together. Add a cylinder, resize it, and apply the scale and rotation transforms. Select the object and add a Boolean modifier. Set the Boolean type to difference and choose the cylinder as the Boolean object. Apply the modifier and you'll see the hole we created. Right click and select Shade Auto Smooth. Then go to the viewport shading menu and enable cavity for better visualization. Now, select the cylinder and scale it down slightly. Press Shift-S and choose Cursor to select it. Next, add a cube, resize it, and switch to Edit Mode. Select the top face and move it upward along the Z-axis. Select the edges and bevel them for a smoother shape. Switch to front view and rotate the object slightly. Then go to object mode and switch to side view to adjust its position. Press Shift D to duplicate the object, right click, and mirror it on the global X axis. In the side view, move the mirrored object along the Y axis slightly. Now, select the mirrored object, duplicate it, and move it. Repeat this process to the other object. Select the bottom parts, duplicate them, and mirror them on the global Z-axis. Move the object along the Z-axis, switch to wireframe mode, and position it properly. Next, duplicate the cylinders to create the right and left joints. You can also use a Boolean modifier to create holes at the joint points. Switch the pivot point to individual origins and scale the pins slightly. 
Apply Auto Shade Smooth to all parts for a clean look. Don't forget to set the pivot point to the median point again. Now, let's rig the mechanism. Select the top pin, press Shift-S, and choose Cursor to select it. Press Shift-A, go to Armature and add a single bone. Open the Armature Properties tab, go to the Viewport Display Panel, and enable In Front to make the bone visible through the model. Press R to rotate the bone as needed. Select the right pin and move the cursor to this location. Select the bone, switch to Edit Mode, and with the tail of the bone selected, press Shift-S and choose Selection to Cursor to snap it precisely. Hit E to extrude the bone. Move the cursor to the bottom pin and snap the bone to its position. Select the head of the top bone, extrude it, and snap it to the next pin. Finally, select the joints, press F to fill the gaps between them. Now, let's bind the armature to the mechanism. Switch to Pose Mode, select the bone, then switch to Object Mode. Select the first object, hold Shift, and select the armature. Press Ctrl P and set the parent to bone. Switch back to Pose Mode and rotate the bone. As you can see, the object moves with the bone. Repeat this process for the other bones, setting them as parents to their respective objects. Once done, Test the rig by switching to pose mode and rotating the bones. Now, let's fix the pins. As you can see, they don't follow the rig. Press A to select all bones, then press Alt-R to clear the pose. Switch to object mode, select a pin, hold Shift, and select the corresponding object. Press Ctrl P to set the parent. Repeat this for the other pins. All right, let's add inverse kinematics to control the mechanism. In object mode, Select the bottom pin and move the cursor to its position. Add an empty cube object and scale it down. Select the bottom part, hold shift, and select the empty object. Press Ctrl P and set the parent. Also, set the empty object's parent to the pin. Repeat this process for the top pin. Add another empty cube at the center of the top pin and parent it to the top part. Now, Select the armature and switch to Pose Mode. Select the bone, go to the Bone Constraint tab, and add an Inverse Kinematics Constraint. Choose the bottom empty object as the target. Set the chain length to 2. Now, when you move the empty object, the bones follow along with it. Inverse kinematics is a technique used in animation and robotics to move a chain of connected bones or joints toward a target position. 
Apply the same process to set IK constraints for the other bone. Select the armature, hold shift, select the top empty object, and set parent. You can also hide the armature in the viewport, so you can control the mechanism using only the empty objects. All right, let's create a simple animation. Select the top empty object, press K, and add a location keyframe at frame 1. Move to frame 20, press G, then Z, and move the top empty down along the Z axis. Press K again to insert another location keyframe. Select the keyframes, press T in the timeline, and set the interpolation type to bounce. Now, move to frame 20. Select the bottom empty and insert a location keyframe. Go to frame 40, move the object down on the Z axis and insert another keyframe. Set the interpolation type to bounce. Repeat this process a few more times to complete the animation. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next tutorial.